Hi, and welcome to Broomster Puzzles. I'm back to the Sudoku Tude series of puzzles, this being set seven, and this is the arrow puzzle from Sudoku Tude's set seven, which is called Diamonds R. Um, this is another puzzle I created. Um, there are two different color arrows in this puzzle, but the only reason that there's two different colors is to um, distinguish the path of the arrows where the arrows share cells. Um, that's all. Um, there'll be a link below to where you can try this puzzle for yourself, as well as where you can download the entire entire pack. Hopefully there'll also be a link to where you can um, access the, uh, the a tracking sheet where you can uh, list off the puzzles, um, Sudoku 2 puzzles you've done. Um, hopefully I'll have uh, been able to get the information to Blobs soon enough for him to do it all. Um, let's have a look at the puzzle uh, rules. So normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digit one to nine must be placed without repetition. And then arrows, Digits on one of these arrows are um, sum to the digit placed in the arrows circle. Digit may repeat on an digits may repeat on an arrow if allowed by other rules. So, for example, both of those could be a one. That might be fine. Um, different colors are just to different uh, clarify arrow paths. So, for example, this arrow doesn't go from here to here to here to here. It goes here, 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 and this arrow goes here, here, here. So, this is an arrow, and this is a different arrow because when it passed through the center here, it would if they were the same color you really couldn't tell the path that's all i'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer let's give this a shot so let's start with sudoku i haven't looked at this one in ages let's start with sudoku maybe maybe well two and two means two is in one of those two one and one means one is in one of those two Well, you could never put nine on an arrow. So, uh, actually, you could never put eight on one of these arrows either, because the arrows are all three cells long. And if I put eight on an arrow, the, um, the other two digits would have to sum to one. So there's no eight on an arrow. Either. Oh, so I can't put eight in any of those cells, because an eight here, the minimum, though, yeah, yeah, so... They can't put eight on any of these arrows because the arrows are all at least three cells long. And the maximum you could put in an arrow head or an arrow circle would be a nine. And that would mean the other two digits would have to sum to one, which can't be done. So I can't put eight in any of those. And that eight says not there. That's an eight. Seven is also quite restricted. Seven can only go on an arrow if the other two digits could both be one. So let's look at the seven here. Seven can't be here. Seven can't be here. Seven is in one of those three. This can't be a seven because I can't make both of those one. This can't be a seven because I can't make both of those one. This is a seven. So six isn't in one of those two. Six is in one of those two. Can that be a six? No, this can't be a six, because if this is a six, this would have to be one, two to make that nine, and this would have to be uh, one, two, the minimum, to make that nine, and I'd have two nines. That's not a six. That's the six. These are one, two, and five. That one can't be a two. So I do need to put a six on an arrow in this box. It's not in any of those. So there's a six in one of those two. And if this is a six, these would have to be one, two, the minimum to make that nine, and it can't be. That's not the six. This is the six. And now these have to be their, if this was a five, this would be at least an 11. But these have to be their absolute minimum, <clears throat> one, two, to make this nine. And I can't put a two there. So it's one, two, two, nine, nine, not the two. And the one makes that the five. The two and the five means this is the one. That's actually not bad. I quite like that. Okay. So what else can I do? Well, maybe I should be looking, like I could see this is quite restricted because this can't be eight or nine or five or six. So surely this has to be seven Ooh, maybe four. It can't be five, six. It can't be three because then all of these would need to be one. But could I, no, it can't be four because if this is four, this would have to be one, two, one, and I can't put a one there. This is a seven. Um, 
Okay. Are there other ones that are restricted? Like this, does this have to be an eight? Because it can't be one, two, it can't be three, or all of those would need to be one, and I can't make those both one. It could be four, it could be five, can't be six, seven, it could be eight. If this is four, this would be one, two, and that would be one. And there is a one up here, because I can't put one in any of these cells. So there is a one in one of those. This is a minimum of four because one, two, three, it can't be seven because, right, this must be a four because it can't be one, two, three, five or six. If it wasn't a four, this would be a seven. Seven, two would make that already nine and that would have to be a zero. This is a four. So these sum to six, this is a minimum of one. So this is seven, eight, nine. It can't be an eight. So if this is a seven, this is a one. If this is a nine, this is a three and it can't be a three. This is the one. So that is a se that is a seven. This is a triple now, seven, eight, nine. There's no eight in either of those. That's the eight, which by Sudoku put eight, eight in one of those two, but that eight looks across saying not there. That's the eight. Seven, nine. Well, that puts nine in one of those two and seven right there because that seven knocked nine out of there and the seven, nine knocks them out of there. Three can't be in any of those, so that's a three, and these are one, four, and five. There's no five there, there's no one there. So one is in one of those two, which puts one in one of those two, but that one looks across saying not there, that's the one. So this is a four or a five. Five in this row is in one of those two. Uh, I don't know that. Uh, must I have a one on that arrow? If I don't have a one on that arrow, I would need, the minimum here would be two, four. And that would need to be a one, which it can't be. There must be a one on this arrow, because if there's no one without a three, minimum two, four, that would need to be a one and it can't be. There must be a one on this arrow somewhere. So there's a one in one of those two, and it's not there, and that's a one. But, oh, that's not the one. That's the one. And these have to sum to six. They can't, well, they can't be one, five. They could be two, four in either order. They can't be three, three. So they are two and four. Oh, this seven makes this the nine and this the seven. Okay. Nine isn't in any of those or on the arrow or those. Nine is in one of those two, which puts nine in one of those two. Eight is in one of those two. The seven in this box isn't in any of those or there. It's in one of those two. Eight has to be up here. Yeah, where's eight in this box? It can't be here or here. It can't be on an arrow. It's in one of those two. So where's eight in this column? Can't be down here because of these eights. Can't be there. Can't be there because of the arrow. It's in one of those two. Oh, and it's not at the top. That's the eight. So where's eight in this box? It's not in any of those. And these two eights knocking it out of those. This is an eight arrow. That one? Hmm. Well, this can't be seven, it can't be eight, and it can't be nine. The maximum there is six. Now, it can't be five. Can it be four? If this is a four, this would have to be one and two, and it can't be. So this is a six, and these need to seem them to five without using a one. This is a two, three, making that the four, making that the two. So one, two, three, four, this is a five. These, one, two, three, this is two, three, five, and must include a five. There's no one on this arrow. 
So if this is a five, those would need to sum to three and without using a one, because I can't put a one in either of them because of those. The one actually is right here. So this can't be the five. This is the five. Five, one. So this is at least six. So this has to be higher than six, but it can't be seven or eight. This is a nine, which is six plus three, which means this is the two, this is the three, this is the two. Those digits now need to sum to six to, because it's eight minus two without being one five. These are two, four, because they can't be three, three. And the two is looking up, making that the four and that the two. And that's all the arrows done. The nine is looking across saying, that's not the nine, that's the nine. This triple, three, five, six. Five and six look up, making that the three, take the three out of the others. The five looks up, making that the six, which makes that the five, which makes that the four, looking down, making that the five, which makes that the four. This is the, no, the six that hasn't been placed. These three, one, two, three, five, nine. The three and the five make that the nine, take the nine out of the other two and use the three looking up to make that the five and that the three. Uh, this one can't be the nine anymore. So this is the nine. This column is missing a four. This box, one, two, three, four, five, six. The six makes this the five and this the six. This row, three and seven. Those are three and seven. The three looks down, making that the seven and that the three. This row, two and eight and i don't see how to resolve that so one two three four and nine and the nine looks down making that the four and that the nine these one two three four five six seven these are eight and nine and the nine makes that the eight and that the nine the eight looks down making that the two and that the eight Maybe this one should have been rated easier because this has flowed really well. One, two, three, four, five. The four looks up, making that the five and that the four. And these are three and seven with the seven looking up, making that the three and that the seven. Yeah, maybe I should have rated this one a little bit easier. Uh, okay, worst case scenario, I rated the puzzle slightly wrong difficulty. Meh. Oh, well, <laughs> it can happen. Maybe when I first tested this, I missed something when I was putting the arrows in or when, because when I f was first making it, I would have been putting the, the digits in around the arrows or the arrows in their positions to try and figure out how it all flowed. Um, and it's possible I just missed something. That happens. But I really enjoyed this one. I thought the arrows did a lot of interesting work and the way that you were able to play with both the arrows and the heads of the arrows in different ways. Nice. Thanks everyone for watching. Hope you're enjoying the series. And as always, good luck with your solving.